the one thing that you should know, Kevin Thompson. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. There's one thing that you need to know for you to be successful. There's one thing that you need to know that you probably aren't utilizing to the optimum performance. So I'd like to ask you all a question. Anyone in here in a relationship that have a significant other? Show of hands. Anyone in here have a boss? Anyone in here is a boss? Anyone in here have children? Anyone in here a brother or a sister? Cousin? Aunt? Uncle? All of those people have one thing that they need to know, and I think that I've touched on all of you here. And that one thing is how to develop a meaningful relationship. So regardless of whether you are a boss, or an uncle, an aunt, a parent, you need to know how to develop a meaningful relationship. So when you think of these people that are in your lives, there's one thing that I'd like for you to think of. These people sometimes might do something that irritates you just a little. And you may tolerate it. Then they do something else and they irritate you a little bit more. And you tolerate it. And then they really irritate you. And then you're just about to go over the edge. And they do the last thing that just drives you out of your mind. You pull all your hair out. See? It's already happened. <laughs> and it takes you to the point where you're just crazy. So what, is, what am I talking about? If you're a parent and you have a child, and they talk about having a cookie. Okay? You can have one cookie. So you have a cookie and they're eating it. So then you see, and they go back, and they get another cookie. So no, I only said you could have one. You see that they ate two cookies. Okay. That's enough. They go back, and they get another cookie. They said, look, I told you don't eat another cookie. You're going to get sick. You're not going to eat your dinner. Mom is going to be mad. Don't do it. And they eat another cookie. That's the irritate, and that's the tolerate, and that's being pushed over the edge. So what is the next step? When you take it to that point, you either want to avoid or attack. So in a situation like that, you want to attack your child. It's hell. Ah, stop it. But we are also faced with those situations with our significant others, with our bosses, with people that we're in relationship with work. And sometimes you'll see that person, and you're like, okay, I'm not going to make eye contact. <laughs> And as long as they don't see me, I'm a ninja, they don't see me. I'm looking at the floor. And that's avoiding them. That's not wanting to be in that relationship with them. Or you attack them and say, okay, that person made me mad. I'm going to get them first. I'm not going to let them have the upper hand. And once you go from that stage, the next stage is eliminate. <laughs> you want to X them out of your life. You want to kill them. You're driving me crazy. So that's the low road. But I'd like to present to you all that there is another way, a better way. So we go through the irritate and the tolerate side. And once you get pushed over the edge, there is the opportunity to relate to that person. So you say, well, how do you relate to that person, Kevin? I'm glad you asked that question. I'm more than happy to tell you. Have you ever heard of this? D-I-S-C. No? Okay, this is a personality profile. So D is for direct. I is for interactive. C is conscientious. And S is for steady. So these 
these are behavioral types. We are all we all have these behavioral types, but there are dominant forms of these behavioral types in each and every one of them. So let me give you an example how this can be a benefit to you. If you have a person who is a D, that person is direct, they're results oriented, they're no nonsense, they just want the bottom line, that's it. All right? They are direct, they're task oriented. All right? Then on this side, you'll have a person who is an F. An F is slower pace. They're not as high energy as the D. <laughs> they take time to process what's being said. You need to speak at a slower pace so that they understand and have the opportunity to engage in the conversation. So do you see just on the surface how if you have a D person speaking to this S person and this D person is going 100 miles an hour, the S person is like and information is going by them so fast they're not able to keep up, they're not able to make that connection. And the D is frustrated, but what's wrong with you? And the S is like, well, you're going too fast, what's wrong with you? Why don't you slow down? I can't hear what you're saying. And that's the opportunity that's being missed. So once you know the behavioral styles that individuals have, it's going to be helpful to you to be able to engage them. And when you go from that relate stage, you get to appreciate the difference. And you approach that person in the behavioral style that they are accustomed to in the way that they want to be communicated to. And it gives you the opportunity to relay your thoughts, the values, and things that you want to share with that person in a way that's going to help them connect with you. And really, that's all that relationships are about. Relationships are about making a meaningful connection. So the one thing that you need to know is when you're communicating with someone, you need to do it in their behavioral style. And there are four behavioral styles. The D, direct, I, interactive. S is steady and C is conscientious. And if you'd like to learn more, I'd be more than happy to work with you. Okay, at this